The design of a center pivot irrigation system involves several steps to ensure its efficiency and effectiveness. Here are the general design steps involved in setting up a center pivot irrigation system. Determine the field characteristics. Assess the field's topography, shape, and size. Consider factors such as soil type, slope, and water source availability. Measure the field dimensions accurately. Define crop water requirements. Identify the specific crop or crops to be irrigated and determine their water requirements. This information is typically available from agricultural authorities, research institutions, or crop consultants. Calculate application rate. Determine the desired application rate of water for your specific crops. It depends on factors like crop type, growth stage, weather conditions, and soil characteristics. Consider the precipitation rate required to meet the crop's water needs. Select the pivot system. Choose the appropriate center pivot system based on the field size, shape, topography, and water source availability. Consider factors like pivot length, tower height, span length, pipe diameter, and drive mechanism. Establish the water source. Determine the water source for your center pivot system. It can be a well, pond, river, or other available sources. Assess the water availability, quality, and pumping requirements. Install a pump system capable of meeting the water demand of the pivot system. Design the main line. Design the main line that connects the water source to the center pivot system. Consider the flow rate, pressure requirements, and pipe sizing. Ensure that the pipe size is sufficient to minimize friction losses and maintain adequate pressure throughout the system. Determine the sprinkler spacing. Calculate the spacing between sprinklers along the center pivot system. This is influenced by factors such as crop water requirements, soil type, and evaporation rates. Consider spacing adjustments at the pivot corners to ensure uniform water distribution. Lay out the system. Based on the field size and shape, Design the pivot layout. Determine the number of towers, spans, and position of the center point. Consider the machine's turning radius and any obstacles in the field that need to be avoided. Plan electrical and control systems. Design the electrical system to power the center pivot. Consider the power requirements of the drive motors, control panel, and any additional accessories. Install appropriate wiring and ensure electrical safety measures are in place. Consider automation and monitoring. Evaluate the need for automation and remote monitoring systems for efficient operation. These systems can control the irrigation schedule, monitor soil moisture levels, and detect faults or malfunctions in the pivot system. Perform hydraulic calculations. Conduct hydraulic calculations to determine the pressure and flow requirements at each point of the pivot system. Ensure that the pressure is within the manufacturer's specifications for proper sprinkler operation. Installation and testing. Once the design is finalized, proceed with the installation of the center pivot system according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Test the system thoroughly to identify and rectify any issues before putting it into full operation.